Hi everybody, this is Rally for another year. Alright, so I have been showing it to you going forward um, the different sections of the SBA, right? And to tell you the truth, I never knew, well, I never fathomed with my brain that I could have done this uh, months ago. And probably it would have helped my students. Um, I, some of them head tough, uh, you know, they, they not really think. Um, so you have to be repeating the same thing over and over sending them to this channel kind of help them in actually understanding uh, the concept the principle uh, procedure as to how things are done so the last share I shared with you I, I looked at the whole idea of methodology and we looked at the fact that in methodology we want to know for geography the how the where the when and the why of the research those four Right in the syllabus, it tells the, about the how, the where, and the when. It doesn't say anything about the why. However, the why is of relevance, right? Because we can't have the how, the where, the when, and uh, why. I, I, I don't have the why. Uh, probably not even you know, Anyway, all right. So presentation, quality, interpretation of data. Now the presentation of data is practically the evidence that you actually um collected information. So just presenting four or five photographs in the presentation of data is evidence that you have actually done some amount of field work. So that within itself is an automatic four marks, right? Analyzation of, analyzation of data, integration of data, and quality of data. All right, so let's go at the analyzation first. The analyzation first. The analyzation is simple, the sentence that is beneath the, par the, arm, the, 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 the photograph. Once you actually insert a line or two underneath each photograph, um, by the way, when you, integ when you integrate the photograph within the, um, within, the, within the research, right? Please don't call it photograph one, photograph two, photograph three. And for those persons that, and, and I know that a lot of persons, in, a lot of newbie teachers, might actually in, instruct their students to use photograph, but using photograph is not the geographical way you should use plate so once you use a photograph you should use plate if you actually use sketch you actually use um, diagram right so it's um, it's plate once it's photograph is plate one right so you write plate one no the analysis is the, the little sentence the little italic sen sentence beneath the photograph for example um, traffic on Spanish Town Road that would be the analysis of data because the, the presentation of data will be the photograph. The analysis of data will be the sentence that you have beneath the photograph, right? Okay, and if you look at this, um, this, this, this SBA that's being presented to you, you will see that underneath, beneath each photograph, you have some amount of, uh, well, you have a sentence, at least a sentence underneath each photograph. So once this is there, you automatically get another four marks, right? Now, interpretation quality and integration well integration quality and interpretation of data now all that plays out when you actually explain the information in like it's like a report form and whenever you're actually doing this notice how the document is actually written it's not written like um the first question was asked and one of that that answered that no it's like you're telling a story Right? And you're infusing the thoughts that you gather on the field from those persons on the field in the paper itself. So it's like you're writing an essay, but you're infusing both the, the, the questions that you ask. And I discovered that when I forced my students to write 10 questions for the interview, um, at the end of asking all 10 questions and the responses are actually gleaned, and actually written documented and presented um, that they have a whole bunch of information which pushes them over the world limit so right now what I advise them that a minimum of six um, questions for the interview and um, you, know, you will have follow-on questions these follow-on questions are not, not normally stated within the list of interview questions but also but it still it gives you a fulsome overview uh, that's the questions that are there for some overview as to what is expected and how it works in tandem with the research aims because remember the interview questions 
the, 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 the questionnaire question, the survey question, everything there as far as question is concerned, supposed to mirror um, what you're trying to get from the research aims. All right, so all of that is actually presented, right, in the, 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 the writing, right, coming down. Right, and this section of the document is the section that's a presentation, analyzation, quality, and interpretation of data. Is the section of the SBA that gives you the most mark. If you look at the marking scheme, a total of 18 marks is allocated for this section only. The SBA is marked out of 40. So, if you can get this section right, if you can get this section right, 18 right. Right? You must can actually get the rest to actually climb over at least a 25, 30 out of 40. Right? So um, the presentation of data is uh, mostly the most problem I face with my presentation of data for my students is the English language and how they actually share the information. The information is there, but how they share it. So you have to be very linguistic in actually presenting the information. Remember, um, CXE have a section, uh, I think it's, it's marked out of three or three or four, I'm not a hundred percent, I think it's four. Yes, four. You're marked out of four for communication. And in the communication, they talk about um, English language, presentation, and a whole bunch of stuff. Right, but the teacher will actually reduce your grade um, for so you can lose your grade for uh, underneath two different sections. You can lose your grades underneath the presentation section, and you can lose your grades underneath uh, the, the, the uh, for grammar, right? So you have to be very, very careful there, right? Now, after you present the photograph, you you label the photograph, plate one, plate two, plate three coming down, and you make a little sentence there. You show your eight marks, and then now uh, the, the the explanation and all that, you show your ten marks, right? So you move on to your findings and conclusion, which will be my next year. If you have any hesitate, if you have any problem, any hesitation as to how to actually do this, you can hit me up below and uh, probably I can expound on this. But uh, I realize that I am going, I am going, I'm going, I'm going. It's now seven minutes and March and I need to move on to the next one. So let's get to the next one, which is finding and conclusion. Then we have the reference and our appendixes right which is going to be one totally together so let's go into finding and conclusion the next year bye for now peace